Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And today on this Maker Monday, we are making a, ready for this? See how it flips this way? It flips this way. It flips this way. And it flips this way. And each one of these is a pocket. There's a pocket here. There are, there's a little pocket here. There's a pocket here. There, uh, I showed you that pocket. And of course, there's a big pocket here. This is a four fold flip made with a type of envelope. We're going to make our own envelopes. This is my uh, the start of my idea journal. And we'll go. Oh, there's those are falling out. So flip, 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 flip. You ready for this? We're going to make this today. All right. Set that aside. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need. So you need two different, three different size papers. This one is from an atlas. It is an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Um, we're going to use that one. You need two of the next size down. This is from a visual dictionary that I am in the process of ripping apart. And these are approximately seven wide by nine and a quarter tall. And then this sheet from a third, you need a third one that's a little bit smaller yet. And this one is eight and a half tall by a smidge under five wide. You really can use whatever you have. You just need three different sizes. So we got that. You're going to need something to decorate them with. Um, I also have some book pages here and I have uh, some lined paper because I'm thinking of doing this with lined paper. Anyway, let's go and see how to put this together. So the, the video that I watched that did this, um, and I'm going to actually make this a little bit shy because I want a fairly good size top on this one. She used a scoreboard and she has specific measurements. I don't have a scoreboard, so I'm not using specific measurements, but I am making sure my sides match up. Um, although it's interesting that my sides match up and my the picture does not so much. So I want to make sure this side matches up. Okay, let me make sure that side matches up. There we go. Okay, so you do that to start with and then uh, to, to fold it in thirds, roughly. And then you come in, I come in, let me see how much this is. This is about a half an inch. Yeah, it's about a half an inch on each side. If you have a scoreboard, you can measure it and go specifically a half an inch. Okay. So this is going to be my envelope. Oops, sorry, my mat is moving and now I'm off kilter. There we go. Okay, so I have this and now I want to put it together. Let me grab my scissors um, because I'm going to cut this edge. See how it's going to come over that anyway? So I want to cut this edge just a little bit inside the score line. Not very much. I'm going to cut that off. Actually, I'm going to cut it at a very, very slight angle. Maybe. Come on. There. Okay, and that piece you can throw away or use on some other project as you see fit. I'm probably going to toss mine. Because I have enough of these little ones. It, oops, I'm missing my score line. Okay, I'm coming in here and again just ever so slightly at my angle. All right, toss a nose. So now what I'm going to do is put this in and then glue that up. But before I do, I want to deal with the top part first. Now again, I can cut those which is what I think I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, 
or I can just fold them in and leave them as they are. But I'm going to go a little bit fancier and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just ever so slightly. I don't know why I find it harder to do on this side. Probably because the light isn't so good on this way. I did put my shade down so that I could try and get rid of some of the glare. It's not a very sunny day here in the Finger Lakes. In fact, it is pretty cloudy, but it is warm. We're in the 40s. There. So when you're done, you end up with a sheet of paper that looks like this. Okay. I'm going to fold those in. I'm going to fold that up and glue it, and then we're going to deal with the top. So let's go ahead and glue the sides. And you can use really whatever glue works for you for this. I'm using Fabri-Tac only because um, I want a thinner line and I'm, I used on this, the, the other one that I showed you, I used a glue stick and it worked out just fine. I'm going to put it on this part, however, because, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, there we go. Because when I go put it up here, it does not come all the way to the top comes most of the way to the top, but not all the way. All right, I'll leave that there. Sorry for the reach in the way. Okay, uh, sorry, Peru and Ecuador, you're going to get cut off a little bit because I want to do this to my top. And I did do some inking of this and then I realized, you know, you're going to cut it up, so I stopped. So I'm going to throw those away. And now I have an envelope. I'm going to take a minute and ink it up. I did ink up the other one already so that I didn't have to do that on camera. And I think it is actually a little bit easier when you ink it ahead of time. So I'm inking the whole thing. Might as well do it now. I could do this later as well. You know, whenever you ink whatever I, I I just know that if I don't do it now I will forget completely to do it at all and you can see that I did do some of it before okay I'm not going to bother inking the back of it because that's what's going to get attached to a, a journal that's what I did with this one I keep losing those cards. I'm going to take them right out. I attached this right to the back end. Oh, no, that's not going to get attached. Well, you'll see. It, it Part of it is this part's going to get attached. Um, this part you can decorate. I did not decorate mine at this point. All right. So that's, that's one. And then you're going to do the exact same thing with all of the others. Although I'm going to put a slightly shorter... I'm lining up the side that I know is is a uh, level. So I'm making sure over there that it's lined up. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to come in maybe not quite a half an inch on this one, maybe a little bit smaller. Although there's no reason you can't do a half an inch. And I'm only going to do this to, sh to show you a second time how to do it. And then I will do the others off camera. So there we go. Making sure that everything's all lined up. And it is. So now I'm going to cut my pieces. Again, going slightly inside my score line. And then a very small clip at an angle. It just helps the fold to come down a little bit so that it's not quite so bulky. Could I leave these? Absolutely. Um, and there's, you don't have to cut them off if you don't want to, but I do because I don't want it quite as bulky. Uh, if I left them together, um, if, pretending this is the pocket for a minute, you can see that you can make a bigger pocket. I'll put that scissors down. If you have them like this, you see how that makes a bigger pocket, a puffier pocket? Um, I don't want a puffy pocket on this, so I'm, that's why I'm cutting these out. Because this is actually pretty bulky as it is. And although the puffy pocket 
would be good for some things. If I were doing this just as a folio to hand out to somebody, I might keep it puffy so that you could put more things in it. But because it's got, this one's going to go into a journal, I'm going to grab my pieces and put those away. Um, because it's going into a journal, I definitely want to keep it a little bit thin. Not quite as bulky. Okay, so I've got my two pieces here, and I want to just put a little bit of, just a line of glue, and a line of glue. I will link to the other video in my, down below. I've just got a little glue on my finger there. Okay, now this one, is a little bit high up here that I don't think that that's going to be an issue. And we're going to ink. And you can see that I already started the inking on here. And again, I think that just saves a little bit of time if you do it ahead of time. But it, I really did it because I didn't want to have to do all of the inking on camera. But, so this is two of them done. I'm going to do the other two exactly the same way, but I'm going to pause my camera to do it uh, and get them finished, and I will come back when all of them are, are done. All right. Be back soon. Okay, I am back. I have all four, and you'll see that um, this one I colored in. Um, I did that last night when I was bored. Yeah, you got to do something. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, and I did not, oh, I didn't do this with either one of these, so let me real quick cut my edges. I forgot to do that with these. You don't have to. I just think, I, I just like the, how it looks better. So let me cut my corners real quick. There we go. And obviously, I am not being particularly um, uniform in how I do it. I do have a template that I could use, but I'm just going quick here to do these. Yeah, but you'll see that I, I colored this one. That was mostly because I was bored last night and just sitting there watching some I'm watching a movie and I colored some pages. There. Okay, now I have my now I have them. All right, so the first thing I want to do is to take my large one and one of my medium sized ones and I'm going to attach it. If you see here, this one is attached. Uh, I, I did this one right in the middle. I'm going to do this one slightly offset. So I'm going to attach the flap to the flap. So I'm going to attach the flap of the middle one to the flap of the large one. So they're nested together. And my glue is just having a good time squeezing itself all over the place. Come on. Now it doesn't want to come out of the bottle. There it comes. Ah, uh, the trials and tribulations of glue. Okay, so I am against... There we go. I'm right against the fold. Okay, so I'm folding this one inside that one. Even if you're not doing this project and you just want to make little envelopes, this is really a cool way to make them, to cut them and make them. It's easy. Okay, so I've done that, and now I'm going to do the same thing with my little one and my other one. And I think this one I'm going to slightly offset this way. So my little one's going inside there. Okay. And I'm knocking everything over. That's all right. We'll leave it. It'll be fine. I want to make sure that I'm right inside my 
fold again. I got a little bit of glue down here. I don't want that to stick because I had some on my fingers. So now I have two of them. I've got a fold here and I have a fold here. Now I'm going to take the two of these and I'm going to fold them like I'm going to put this in. So what's going to happen is that this will go here and this will go here and this will go here and this will go here. And you'll notice that it sticks out a little bit. That's perfectly fine. I got managed to get glue on the outside there. Okay, so I've got fold and fold and fold and fold. So that I'm going to stick this to this. And once again, my glue is making a mess. I am going to cover up some of that glue mess in a minute. And these two I am lining up. Uh, actually, you know what? I do want to make that just a little bit offset. So I'm going to come down here and make that a little offset. So that when I do it, I've got one, two, three, and I'm, I'm just a little off with it, and I like that. Okay, now if you notice on this one, this particular piece does not stick out, um, and I used a different, I don't remember what I used for this one. I guess it was the same, okay, same book. Um, I think that's because it's the, it's the way I folded the two top pieces. Here I gave myself a little bit more room, and I actually like it better when it sticks out a little bit because it gives it, it makes it more visually interesting. See like that? Okay, I'm going to let that glue dry for a minute, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and I have uh, cut a bunch of these so that I know how I want them on here. Um, because I want this one I primarily just decorated and I figured you know whatever the writing surfaces were they could go into the pockets but this one I want to put some writing surfaces on the actual paper so I have done that in that I have fought with my uh, cutter because my cutter was misbehaving and I am going to put down some lined paper so that you can, whoever gets this in a journal, will be able to write on these surfaces as well as have places inside. So I think I want it to go that way. I'm just going to take a moment and glue all of these pieces onto the flips because I am now I'm flipped I'm all I'm all set I now it's just decorating it, it is actually built I will show you that in a second here let me just get this on here I know I'm off camera sorry about that I'm way oh I guess I'm still on camera sort of kind of okay um so yeah so that's my center then I my flip and my flip and my flip. So I have flip, flip, flip. I need a piece for here. I'll get that in a minute. Flip, flip. Let me flip this in or put this in. And I'm just putting these in with a glue stick because it will dry fairly flat. And I want to cover up all of these different levels. That's my goal here is to give it, but I want to make sure that I could still bend that in. So don't, I did that mistake on the other one. I, I put a piece in that was just a little bit too long and then I, I could bend this one in, but I couldn't bend this one in. So make sure when you're putting that there, you are giving yourself room. Oh, I have two more pieces over here. Which piece goes here? I think that piece goes there. Um, I did not give you the measurements on the pieces that I'm putting inside because really it depends upon the papers that you're using, how much of it you really want to cover up. Um, if you can see, I wanted to leave some of my coloring 
So my coloring shows, I did not put anything there. I'll think about it. And then this one I'm only going to put down along the side. Sorry, my glue stick threw up a little bit there. I'm only putting this one down here. Okay, and then on this page, I have some book pages here, and I think I want to do that with a book page. It's a little bit big, so let me take it just a little bit out of there. Yes, that fits. I know, I'm way the heck over now. Uh, I'll get rid of this blue book in a minute. And then I can have some more space. If you are trying to read the text, which is what I always do when people are using book pages, this is from a book called Table for Four by Diana Hunter. It is erotic romance, so there's some naughty stuff going on here uh, in in the book page, but you won't you aren't going to see it because I'm going to cover a lot of it up. Okay, let me get rid of that for a minute. We'll get rid of these extra book pages. I have some prepared book pages that I usually use for different things. I don't need that sheet anymore. All right, so now we go one, two, three, four. Look at all those flips. I didn't put anything here. Do I want to put something there? Let's go with another book page. Let's go with another book page. Okay. Um, we'll take out a little bit on this side. And then how much do I want to take out at the bottom? Okay. About that much. Yeah. Those I will put aside because those I'll use for something different. Let me just cover this up. I am going to need to get another glue stick soon. This one is starting to get very close to the end. I should buy stock in glue stick companies. So I certainly am keeping them in business. There. All right, so now we got to cover them up. Now these two, let's put some stamps on them. I have, um, I've got a little bit of music here that is not settled very well. I wonder if I can get that a little straighter. I'm generally terrible at this. There we go. That's not too bad. Okay, we'll put a little music down. I probably should have... See, I you know me. I forget to do this. Oh, let's cover the whole thing. Let's just cover the whole thing. We'll make the whole thing kind of a off color. There we go. And glue stick is sticking to me. I'm just making a mess. Of course, I want the glue stick right now, right? You know, usually I'm a little bit more adept at things than this. Today is a klutzy day. Do you ever have those klutzy days? There. Put a little bit of music down there. Let's put a little music up here. Um, uh, coloring it. Let's go ahead and color it up. It's on my piece. And then we'll ink the edges just a little bit more so they're a little bit darker. And we'll make this look, it's actually a, a fairly old page. It's like from the 1960s. This hymnal is an old older hymnal. 
that I am ripping up. And when you get to see the project that's releasing on February 12th, God willing and the creek don't rise, you'll see what these music pieces are leftovers from. Okay, so we'll put a little bit of stuff on there. And then we've got our, our stamps here. And I have I have a bunch of stamps that I just recently picked up. And I have a couple of roses that I like. And I have a fan that I would like to try. So let's go ahead and grab the black ink pad. Sorry, I should have had this out ahead of time. Okay, I've got my black ink pad. And we'll cover up the glue stick. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I want my stamping off page. There, I'll just set that there. All right, let's put a little fan down here. See how this comes out. Oh, you can't hardly see it there. So let's try it here. Oh, that's nice. I like that. And then let's put the fan here, kind of hanging off the page. Okay, I like that. We have this little rose. Actually, I like this rose. Let's try that one. Um, here. looks good. I don't know if these are coming out so well on here, at least not the black on black. I think if I wanted it to do it, I'd have to do it with a different color. I'm going to go over the top here because if I don't like it, I can just cover it with something. Okay. All right. Oh, and I have this little, little rose. Put that down there. There. Okay, I'll wash those off in a little bit. Put these off to the side because I don't want those anymore. What else do I have that I would like? I have these little um labels and i got them i can't remember the name where i got them but um i can look it up and i will put it in the comments below or in the the description below i think it's just junk journals is that the name of it it was an etsy shop Try turning it right side up. April 19th. An important day. This is 1887, but April 19th, 1775. An important day. Yeah, I like that kind of hanging around there. What else do I have here? I got one that fell out. We could put that over here because that really kind of messed up down there. I didn't with that stamp so we'll just cover that over a little bit but if you like these stamps or these uh tickets tags whatever they call whatever you call them i really like them um and i used have used them quite a bit oh there's a rose and as you can see they are already pre um distressed I already did the edges when I had my knee done um, when I got my new knee this was one of my projects I spent a lot of time sitting in my chair first of all cutting these out 
And second of all, oh my glory, I can't believe how much I had to do with um, I just sitting there. Just, oh my glory, I sat there for so long. Okay, we'll cover that up at the top. But I cut all these out and then I sat and inked them and it gave me something to do so that I felt like I was crafting even though I was just sitting in my chair recuperating. Here. Okay, I want to stick something in here. A label in here. Maybe a round label, something different. No, I don't like that. Something tiny. Hang on. There we go. Put it up there. Because I still have some seams over there that are showing from where I put the two together. So this will cover that up just a little bit. Now I could absolutely do this with plain paper. Um, I am using up book pages. So, okay, I like how that looks. Oh, we need something here. How about our little fella on a hobo stick thing? Yeah, we need a little something more than that. I have another flower, a little miniature version of the other flower. Now let's go with that because we have those roses in there. Now I could color my roses. I could take a colored pencil and color them in. Um, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm not gonna fuss too much because if I do too much, then it won't work. Okay, and then this, and then this. Okay, you guys both, I'm glad that you guys ended up opposite each other, but you still need something big. And I, I don't mean just one of these, I mean something big. Although, come on. I'm thinking down in the side, up in the top, and then something in. Yeah, there we go. So if you are looking for these labels, um, I will put the link to the Etsy shop down below. And uh, you can find them there. But they do have to be fussy cut. If you are not a fussy cut person... They're, then you probably don't want these, but I love them because they're so versatile. And um, you get it as a digital, so then you can use it however many times. I think there's a limit, I think, on this, how many times you can print it out and use it. But obviously, and, and, and there are big ones too, and I just haven't used the big ones. I'm only using the little ones at the moment. Okay, let me grab, I'm going to pause you for a second. I think I know what I want to put here. I just have to go get it. Okay, these are from Current Magazine. And as you can see, I've used a couple of them. I really like the big size of this. And they are stickers. So I can put more than one on here. Kind of thinking this. And these two. And then I think I need something purpley down below. Maybe the hyacinth. My favorite, two favorite flowers. The hyacinth. There. Put that there. Hmm. Needs a little bit of green. I have these. Pieces of green. I remember having a little bit of trouble getting them off. And that, apparently that is not the case. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put them over here. that one over there. We'll throw you down here, your little bit of 
green. That kind of balances it out. It balances the green from there to there. Okay, I want a little bit more. Green over here. See, this is what I said. You aren't going to see a lot of the text anyway. And I think one more. Oops, careful. Don't rip. Don't rip. Uh, where did I get these greenery pieces? I got them from... Uh, hmm, that's a good question. I think I got them from the washi tape shop. But it was something that they just sent me. Okay, I have a bigger, come on, you're trying to rip on me. Stop trying to rip on me. Yellow over here, and we'll put you down with that. And then, how about the red rose to bring in the same red rose on the other, not, it's not the exact same rose, but it brings in the color from that side to this side. And then I need another little purple. I don't know what this is, but we're going to take that little purple. There. All right, so now when we take a look at our piece, I have not decorated the front of this, and I probably won't at this point till I know what journal it's going to go in. And then I'll figure out whether I want to put a book page over it or whether I just want to leave it as, at the moment, an upside down I probably should have paid attention to that when I was started. It's an upside down map of South America. Um, so uh, I will probably put something over the top of it. But again, I don't know if I want to do a book page. Do I want to do a music page? What do I want to do? I want to do a, a writing page. So I'll leave that there. And then I have all sorts of places to tuck things. I have a spot here where I can put something. I flip it open and I have a spot here where I can put something and I flip it up and I have a spot here where I can put something and I flip it over and I have a spot here where I can put something. Look at all those spaces. One, two, three, four places. And then if I want to, I can leave it just as it is. I could put a backing on here. Um, or I could do what I did here and simply attach it. This is my idea folder. Um, I have filled up this this one. I still have room on the back. But then I'm going to have to get another sheet of stuff where I can... I'm going to start making a signature of my idea folder. And so this one I attached. You can see it all. I've got to flip, flip, flip. I attached it back here and you see where I said I got it just this is just a little bit too wide and so it now bends over when I bend this one over but that's why this one was my prototype goes in my idea book it's not very good that one will never get sold that stays in my idea book this one however will eventually find its way into a journal and be a part of something that someone could own someday. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun making these. Um, they're easy to mass make and I probably will make a whole bunch more of them and so that I have them ready to just be able to slip into journals and put them out on as pages as we go along. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Uh, YouTube likes it when you hit the like button. I like it when you hit the like button. Uh, if you want notifications as to when the next video will come out, I do. I am trying this year. Uh, I've been doing Mondays and Fridays. Mondays are Maker Monday. Fridays are Fabulous Friday. And then on Saturdays this year, I have added in the Marguerite Miller Challenge. If, I don't know if you have noticed that I've done it. Um, I did it the entire month of January. I'm going to try to do it every week. We will see. Um, so far, so good, but I am doing the Marguerite Miller Challenge, and you can follow that along on Saturdays. On Wednesdays, I do Walk Through Wednesday when I have a new journal to unveil that is going up for sale. Um, I do not currently have one. I've been working on all of these pieces, and all of the, my idea journal, you know, I have, I did, 
well, not that, not so much that, but I did the little booklet out of index cards. Um, that's now in my idea journal. I did the idea journal idea, double flip over here. I, apparently I'm in a flippy mood because I'm doing all these flips. All right. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.